Hi everyone, Rusty Dog here, and we are here at the Jet's Hole in the Asp. Um, <clears throat> the Asp is here just to do a little covering mission for the Vulture, uh, in a way. So, it's time to upgrade the power plants on the Vulture to Grade 5. Problem is, um, Heratani, who is the one who does the Grade 5 power plants, um, doesn't trust me enough yet. I'm only up to grade 3. Uh, so we need to go past grade 3 and grade 4 to get to grade 5. Uh, that's why I brought the ASP. Uh, two reasons. One, uh, less jumps to get here. And secondly, because the ASP currently has a grade 1 overcharged power plant, uh, which takes it to 95. Now without it, I don't know what the usage is on this one, um, but I haven't come here for a, to do an overcharge, but it's very easy um, for me to do another one because let's just go in and I'll try and explain what I'm about to try here. So in the power plants, um, I only unlocked Heratani to grade 330% so I could unlock another engineer. Uh, but if I want to do another grade 1 overcharge, you can see I've got plenty of opportunities to do that right here and even improve on what I currently have. In fact, let's just take a look. Um, I'd like to write this down actually. Power capacity. So my current power capacity is 17.32. I don't know whether I'm going to come back to this, um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. We will see. So. We're on grade 3 right now, and I have come here to do, uh, let me see, I think it is armoured? Uh, no. Ugh. Where are the rest of the options? Am I looking at something else here? Yeah, power distributor. Oh, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to do the power distributors. Um, so let me just take a look. <laughs> I haven't. I thought I was doing the power plant. So as you can see, this power distributor is um, unmodded. So anything we do here is going to be good. <coughs> So engine focus is going to give me quicker boost times, slightly quicker recharge on that, so... Uh, weapon focused, again, this is the one I was looking at because I've got the most of. So I don't have it, I do have weapons but they're mine so kind of useless. So I think here uh, is probably the best one to do. However, I only need to do two of them and I don't believe that I need electrochemical arrays f for any other reason although I'm gonna have to start collecting some more of these um, I don't have to do I don't have to do this you know engine focused can be done as well See, system focus would help my shields out, because my shields are not that great. And it would help... It would give them a little bit more capacity there. What I can do then, is do two of these. No. No, no. Go to weapon. Okay, so we'll do two of these. can't get this wrong. We'll do two of these and we'll do... Finally we'll focus on this one. So we'll only use it one chemical array. And then when we get to grade four we have to do power plants which means doing... Uh, that wasn't the one. It was the armoured which is this one, CMM. Okay, so we're good. 
Right, so we're going to do a power distributor update first. Uh, so this is the one I don't need because I'm just carrying uh, mines and I don't need this upgrade for that. But we're going to do it anyway because oh, for obvious reasons we just need the, uh, the reputation. So let's just quickly whip through this and discard. Don't need it. Pointless. Uh, we'll do another one. And let's preview the outcome and generate. And generate again. That's one extra dialogue they never needed. And we'll discard that. I could have just did, done try again. I keep forgetting. <coughs> but, yep, yeah, there you go. Yes, discard it, please. Okay, now we hit grade 4. Now we're going to go to the power plants. And... Now I can do a grade 4 overcharge. Really don't need to do it on this one, um, but I can hit that one right at the end. But for now, we're going to do an armored power plant, which again I don't really need. Uh, so I'm going to do two of these. Uh, so let's preview the outcome. What is this one? Armored. Yeah, we didn't get a really good one on that one. Oh, do another one. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep that because we got a pretty good one. And now I'm going to go for an overcharged power plant. And if I get a crap one, I'm, I'll just keep the one I have. Hmm, that's actually not bad. I've got plenty of power in store already, though. Um, and an armoured power plant is only useful if you're being fired at, so that your power plant is harder to uh, destroy. I don't tend to have any problems with that. Let's just put this on anyway. Because who knows, with an overcharged power plant, maybe I can just stick a couple of beams on this thing. Uh, uh, which is what I'm going to be doing with the vulture, actually. Um, sticking some beams on. But I am going to have to then uh, go to another engineer to get the grade 5 power, uh, power distributor. Uh, grade 3, sorry, grade 3. I could get the grade 5s, but I'm going for grade 3 uh, weapon, weapon focused. Um... Right. I'll try not to sniff anymore. Um, so, we should be at grade 5 now. And we are. So now all that's left to do is to come back here with the vulture. And, oh my god, I can already do this. Well, of course I can. But this is, I'm saving this for the vulture. I want, I've got three goes there. And I, I want those. Um, I've refitted the Vulture to take a uh, cargo capacity of 6, where it used to take 2 before, um, by removing the SRV, the, the planetary hangar. Don't, I didn't feel I needed that, so I also saved a little bit of power, but my current power capacity on the Vulture is 100% in, in the red. Um, so... A grade 5 is going to give me... Uh, I don't know if it's going to do enough. But I need to have three rolls of the dice to see if I can... As you can see, I might just increase by 7% or something. But I need to have enough to power two beam lasers. Even, even with some power management. And then use a grade 3 weapon-focused power distributor in order to... Um, try and maintain those beams firing for as long as possible. It's just basically an experiment, really. It's not something... If it doesn't work out that the beams are not firing too well for, for too long a time, or, it, or the, I haven't got enough power, then I'll just stick with what I have already in the, in the vulture. Um, however, I do think that my pulse lasers in the vulture are already modified, so I will lose those. 
unless I wait for 2.2 but I just can't be bothered so I have to now go back to Shinrata Desert to pick up the vulture um, and then bring it down here now it was seven jumps in this thing this thing can jump 42 light years the vulture does about 16 or 17 so it's gonna take a little while to get the vulture down here but it's got a killer uh, field scoop on it so it's gonna be not too not too much of a slog just to a lot of jumps so I'm gonna bring the vulture back here and see where it puts us see what it does um, it, I wonder if it's an idea to fit the beams first before I come over yes I'm gonna be overpowered but I'll be able to see whether the overcharge here is going to work it's gonna uh, yeah. I'll see when I get I'll, I'll see when I get to Shinrata so I'll join you then okay so we're back at Shinrata Desert with the vulture and um, it seems that the pulse lasers are not modified so we can change them for beams but before we do um, let's have a look here so I'm currently on a hundred but unless I'm scooping after kills I can put this on power management along with the fuel scoop and even the interdictor that can go to three so I've got eight percent there on top of what I gain I'd rather not lose the cargo hatch if I can help it so looking at five percent plus whatever grade five gives me <coughs> so five percent and I'm currently on a hundred so the question is how much more percent our two beam lasers going to put on well let's try one so beams it's going to really kill the power here so let's stick one on and let's take a look please don't be too much Wow, <coughs> this is going to be killer. So we're looking at 110%. I'm not sure why, 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 Delilah, did I go into the mission board? Um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to do this. I mean, it's yeah, it's kind of it's kind of possible, but it's it's going to really require some knife edge power management here. Um, I mean, because I've got so much on this ship already. So, right now we're running at 109. That's, uh, that's actually decidedly better than 110. So, if we disable the fuel scoop and the interdictor and the hatch, it's still not enough. This is why I need at least 2% from the grade 5. If I can get 5% on the grade 5, I'll be able to enable the cargo hatch. So all I need really is 5%. The question is what do I do now? Well, what I do now is disable a shield booster. Uh, I need the cargo scoop for the journey so I'm going to disable that <coughs> I could possibly get some energy efficient beam lasers but that will create less damage 
make them more energy efficient. Can you, can you even do that? And as for the power distributor, well, grade three, uh, grade three weapon focus. But then, will that add to the percentage as well? I may have to just permanently remove a shield booster. But with with beams causing more damage. Well, like I said, it's an experiment. So let's take this ship as it is. And I don't presume I can fire those beams for too long. Maybe, I don't know, three, four, five seconds. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to the unfortunately named Jet's Hole, uh, which is here. I don't even want to know how many jumps this is. Seventeen jump range, okay. So what are we looking at? Nineteen. Ah, Thirty-eight jump round trip. I'll see you when I'm there. Cobra interdiction. This is going to prove a, a little bit of a test with these lasers. I can tell you now, I've got a six second fire, fire burst and yeah, the heat, the heat. Well, elite Cobra, if I can hit him. Using uh, he's using shield sandbags. Thank God he's not firing back. You see, if I wanted to go for something like more powerful lasers, I'd be kind of screwed because again, I don't have the power for it. Yeah, you see, these lasers, man. Oops. Try pressing the right keys. Thankfully, the lasers, the laser time runs out before the um, before the heat goes critical sometimes. So this is not a great idea, is it, putting two beams on a vulture? Not even with mods. And the, the, well, you can. The problem is I've got so many other bits and pieces on this vulture that it's... I'm kind of running it very critical. An idea I did have... An idea I did have was to take off the modified thrusters and that might reduce the, uh, the heat. But that's something I'm going to have to look into. But anyway, I want, regardless, um, I want to put a grade 5 uh, power plant on this, regardless of even if I go back to the pulses. So, we're going. Okay, see you there. Right, we've arrived. And I was just checking out the update. Uh, not the update, the modification that I have on this uh, ship's thrusters, which is grade 2 um, dirty drive tuning. And it seems that that can increase the thermal load by somewhere between 32 and 68%. So, <clears throat> it might be an idea to get rid of that. I don't really need the speed on, on this ship. Um, hmm. Anyway, let's pop in and uh, let's just see where we are with this. So, Engineer's Workshop. Um, what have I got on, on as a power distributor right now? Hmm. 
What can we do here? Anything? Probably nothing. This is the one that I would want. Ah, damn! I threw the nano breakers away on the on the journey back in the asp. I had two left. Okay, that was that was a bit silly. Right. I've got three goes of this and I want to get as high on the power capacity as possible. Heat efficiency, if I can get that in the blue, that would be brilliant because boosting while I'm firing these beams is a bad idea right now. Oh, that's no good. We can't accept that. I mean, this is this is power capacity over the over the force that I've got in right now. So let's go again. I need more power capacity. That's the thing I need more than anything. If this comes out in the, in the red as well, I'm screwed. Bingo. So I'm, I'm dropping 1% heat efficiency, I can handle that. Integrity's a bit down, but this is what I needed. On the last roll of the dice, unbelievable. It shot up, no it didn't, it shot up 7%, sorry, 7% at the end. So it only went halfway and then the secondary got me there. So let's stick that on. So, what do I have? 86. Let's just stick everything on and see where we are. Unbelievable. We made it with 4%. That is amazing. That's amazing. We made it with 4% still to spare. Wow. So I don't need to disable or power manage anything. That is seriously good. And even if I did need to do that, that's 96% with two beam lasers. And even if I did need to disable something, I mean the fuel scoop would be the first thing to go. So, thrusters. The only reason to get rid of the modification is if I'm sticking with the beams. Uh, just remind me the power distributor was system focused. Okay, well we can change that right now. Uh, we'll just at least do a grade one weapon focused. Oh, I feel so silly getting rid of those uh, nanos. I had two left. The ship had the capacity to carry three more. Um, it's I wonder if there's anywhere I can hang out around this, around here, where I can pick up a mission that rewards nano breakers. I don't want to go all the way back if I can help it, but okay, let's try this. We can even gain an engine capacity. I doubt that's going to happen, but we'll have a few goes on this because we've got plenty of sulphur, and of course, it's readily available. Okay, so we're losing in systems capacity, which is your shields. Let's pop that on for now. And then I've got to deal with the heat issue. If I get a good timing on the, um, on the beams and I can make them last for a while, then I might get rid of the, the grade 2 thrusters, which will drop the power usage down even more. Um, yeah, brilliant, I'm, I got my second shield booster back, fantastic. So let's, um, let's go back in here again. And we'll have, a, we'll have another few goes on this. So I'll just quickly flick it there. Okay, this is the actual main one, it doesn't look like I can go 
too much further on this one, but on the recharge I can. So let's try again. Oh, it's not looking good. Try again. We can have about 10 goes of this. Well, we can have 30 goes. Now, this is so that it recharges quicker, but I've got less capacity. So I can fire them for less time, but they'll recharge faster. I doubt I'm going to get these two in the blue. These are okay. One, two, one, one. That's okay. And the only reason this is right up there is because I got an after effect here, a secondary effect. But am I willing to take a 3% drop in weapons capacity? Because this means I can fire in short bursts, shorter bursts, but it will recharge quicker. Or is it better to fire in longer bursts? and have it recharge a little bit slower. I mean, you could fire it in a longer burst, and while it's recharging, you just spend the time kind of resetting your ship's position or something to... Let's give it another go. Ah, that's acceptable. Except for the system's recharge but we've gone way over on weapons capacity. That's never going to be improved. I don't think. Not along with this. Let's take that. Yeah, it doesn't help my shields, but again, I've got two shield boosters on there. And do I have anything modified? Do I have modified shields on this yet? No, I don't, you see? So this, I've got plenty of room here to modify the shields to get grade 5 overcharge on the shields. So now I've got, I've got 4% there, wiggle room, 96%, plus uh, taking off the fuel scoop, that's another 2, so that's uh, 6%. Uh, I could take off the interdictor as well, that's another 1. So I've got 7% to play with, more or less. And if I remove the thruster mods, um, even more. So what I want to do, I just want to take a quick trip outside and just see how um, just see how long I can fire these lasers for. This is a fully, let me show you the outfitting on this, this is a, a fully A-rated ship, so I've got two two large beams, right, which is crazy. Uh, two shield boosters, which they take up a fair amount of power, that's chaff and a kill warrant scanner. Um, the chaff could be replaced by a point defense, I suppose. That might make a bit more sense. Uh, because chaff, this ship's already fairly quick. So, anyway, core, um, military grade composite, uh, modded power plant, modded thrusters, modded frame shift drive, all A rated, modded power distributor. Uh, the sensors have gone D. Uh, that's the only thing that is D on here. And in the optionals, we have shield generator, not modded yet, uh, fuel scoop, and I've just put a cargo rack and an extra fuel tank um, in, in here, because when they're, when, see the thing with the cargo scoop, cargo scoop? The cargo rack and the fuel scoop is that neither of them weigh anything. They don't carry any weight, so they're kind of freebies. It's only when you choose to fill up a cargo rack that you'll add the weight. Anyway, yeah, yeah. So and a small, just a small interdictor, because I don't do that much interdicting with this. Um, and of course the chrome, a nice chrome livery. So I was getting six seconds out of this before. What have I got left in the old cargo? Well, that's empty. I went through everything. Um, so if I can if I can drop off at a space station somewhere and maybe pick up a mission that will reward nano nano breakers, um, I can come back here and uh, and get a grade three power distributor on here. 
So right. we need to get out of the uh, firing range thing. Okay, so we're out of the fire zone. So the thing I'm going to be watching for, basically, is uh, length and heat. Length of firing and heat. So on the clock there at the top, when the seconds reach zero, zero, we'll fire and see how long they go for. So eight seconds, yeah? Eight seconds. We didn't go over 100%, so there wouldn't have been any actual damage. Um, but if you couple that with... Um, let's give us some power to engines. If you couple that with thrust... Look at the temperature, you see? So... Is it viable? Should I should I take off the grade two dirty drive tuning on this? I mean, right now I'm hitting 400 and what was it, 428 or something? I can't remember. Could be could be 418. Let me go four pips. That'll help. Four twenty five we got there, so four twenty five, maybe four twenty six, something like that. Yeah. And if I take off the grade twos, the speed will come down to the stock speed, whatever that might be. Which to be fair is still quick enough. Because this thing's as maneuverable as hell. But it might help with the heat. But is eight seconds on a beam laser enough? Is it viable? I mean, if I go to grade three power distributor, I'm going to get even longer out of it. But that's pointless if the heat's going to go up. So you're better off getting a weapon, a good, you know, focusing on the recharge than the capacity. Are you with me? I'd rather have a faster recharge in that case. But then the question is, well, how much damage are you doing? Because with pulse lasers, you can just literally just fire them forever with a, you know, with a, well, not forever, but for a long time. You know, with the, um, if I had pulse lasers and a grade 5 power distributor, I'd be getting some serious, um, what am I doing? I'd be getting some serious firing time. No. Have you hidden it? So I mean I was happy with the maneuverability and speed of this thing before the before the thruster upgrade. And let's face it, getting a getting another one, getting another grade two is easy enough. Procedure completed. Ship secured. Greetings, Commander. Hmm. What to do? What to do? What to do? Well What about upgrading the beam lasers for better thermal efficiency. Can that be done? I'm going to have a quick check. Right, well the answer on that seems to be a resounding no. Um, the Dweller does beams up to grade 2. Uh, Brew does them to grade 1, but there's nothing there that reduces thermal load. 
we got a short range blaster and sturdy mount and all that lightweight mount and stuff like that but nothing nothing to reduce thermal um, I guess I don't know whether power plant would um, choosing a different power plant option but I can't I need overcharge I need overcharge to get this m amount of usage out of it that means if I take these beams off and put the pulses on I'm gaining I'm gonna gain about nine ten percent so the usage will be down to 86 on this ship uh, which means if I settle for pulses which let's face it they're pretty damn good if I settle for pulses, so I'm down to 86, I can hit this with grade 5 overcharged thrusters. Uh, grade dirty drive, I mean, yeah. Grade 5 dirty drive tuning thrusters, because they're the ones that take up the most power when you upgrade them. Then I can do grade 5 shields and not have to worry about power usage at all. Not at all. So, it was worth checking out. I mean, it would be nice maybe to pop into a nav beacon, look at a couple of wanted ships and just test it out. Uh, test out this config and then um, I'll go and put the pulses back on and then we'll look at, um, I'll look in the future at upgrading the thrusters and the shield gens to 5. Now I'm already grade 5 with the, with the um, engineers that can do these two so all I need to do is get the commodities and make sure I have the materials and then we can get these two done um, yeah and you know it's maneuverable it's small and it's it's very very agile I mean it's only it's second only to the Eagle in terms of maneuverability um, it's got some serious firepower whichever way you look at it whether you put beams or pulses on but the pulse is like I say, if you upgrade the power distributor, shield generator and thrusters, you know, you're going to have a mighty ship. Upgrading this, upgrading the power distributor to grade 3 weapon focus, um, not going to grade 5, but just going to grade 3. So that means you'll take a little bit away from the shields, take a little bit away from the engines, but it's going to allow the weapons to fire forever. But with the pulses, how much do you need that? Is it then worth just going to grade 5 and having it increase for all systems? Although the increase isn't as great for the weapons as it would be if it was weapon focused. Yeah. Most, some of you out there is going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you is just going to put your head in a spin. Because it's, <laughs> it's going to put my head in a spin. And don't forget, I can also upgrade the shield boosters as well. So on this ship now, I've got thrusters, shields, two shield boosters and a power distributor I can still upgrade. And the frame shift drive on this, I believe, is only three. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, so we can go further on the frame shift drive then. We can go up to grade five on that. So plenty to do on this ship yet in terms of um, in terms of upgrades and if I if I just say look forget the eight seconds on the beams let's just take them out put the pulses back in get the power down into the mid 80s and well we can just go to town on this vulture because we got a really 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 good uh, final throw of the dice on that power plant. We were lucky there, because if I hadn't, if I hadn't got a good roll third time round, uh, if it stayed in the red, then that mission to get the nano breakers would have been for nothing, and coming down here would have been for nothing. I got lucky there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, stuff to do on the vulture don't know when might be in the next video might not be for a while um, but I've kind of got a little bit of an itch now to 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 really mod this thing a bit further hmm I'll have to plan it all out though but at least for now we're done um, and I'm gonna park here for the night so yeah that's it then 
So thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.